welcome back just finished obsession on tubi another dennis reed the second film fairly short so i figured it wouldn't have any long drawn out scenes in it which is good it gets straight to the point so it's basically about this woman who is totally cuckoo for cocoa puffs in her brain she's in love with this man that we find out he defended her when she was getting bullied like way back in middle school and she just grew this crazy obsession uh, with him to the point she's imagining they were together and all this crap. This man is married with children. So the stars of this movie are the children. His daughter is a an influencer, social media influencer. Her and her little friend are too and her brother is like really good with like computers and stuff. Um, nerd but nerd is definitely not a bad thing on this channel all right nothing wrong with being nerdy okay so uh shout out to the actress that played like the stalker obsessed lady she was really good she even got on my nerves a little bit because she was calling the little girls bees and i it's like i know it's a movie and it's acting but calling the child names i just i just cringed a little bit every time she did it because she said it like three or four times she ends up kidnapping his daughter and her friend, hold, held them hostage for like over a week. It was crazy. She killed her sister because the police found out that she used her car to kidnap the girls in. It was pretty good. Like if you want something that's short with, with a nice little plot, you know, just something to, you know, watch on a Sunday afternoon after church or just kicking back and you don't really know what to watch but you just want to dibble dabble a little something I, I think this is a good movie for that right nice little drama and it does kind of pull on your heartstrings a little bit because kids are involved and you know how these movies end you know the kids are going to end up in a good place but it's just like the especially like being a parent because when she picked him up, she was like, oh, I'm, I'm searching for uh, this house. She was pretending to be a nanny. And she told the little girl, I'm going to such and such street. She was like, oh, that's my house. Well, I can just take you there. And her and her friend just hop in the car. And it's like how crazy that is because it can happen in real life. You know what I mean? And it's not like she went to the school and went to the office try to get a little girl she just driving by saw that they were walking home because she had been stalking them and plotting so it's like man you really have to teach your kids like look if i don't care if they say they know me you better call me on the phone right then and there facetime mommy who was that they said they know you they're gonna take us home like i i think that was definitely a lesson in this movie for anyone that even if you're not a parent if you have nieces and nephews like teach them that because that's scary because so many kids end up missing and it's little stuff like that it's not always somebody literally running and snatching your child and throwing them in a white van it's something as simple as hey you know can you tell me where so-and-so is or I can drop you off. You just you just two blocks up. You don't you don't have to walk. I can, and it's just like boom, your child's gone forever. So that was really spooky. I don't even know if the writer intended for that to be like a, a teachable moment in a movie, but I feel like it is. Not for me per se. Be, mm, spitting. Not me per se because I'm just so overprotective. But like just you know anybody like make sure your children know not to do that right i understand it's a movie but you can learn things even in fiction even in thing movies that are not real so along with her being crazy as hell something they mentioned and i, I thought that was cool that they mentioned it because this this is an actual illness um i forgot what they the exact word is but there's an illness where people women who believe they are pregnant it's so real to the point where their belly actually starts growing. Uh, my aunt uh, worked as a psych nurse in a mental health facility. And I remember her telling me about a lady like that when I was real little. She was saying, you know, this woman had a big, like she was eight, nine months. And it's just amazing. That's just amazing how powerful your brain is. 
if you feel think that you're pregnant so your body will literally imitate that you know it's it's cool that the brain is it not that that's cool but it's just amazing how the brain works right so they said that she had you know had that issue she had pictures of them it was crazy so of course they end up rescuing the little girl and her friend due to a piece of jewelry i think this is another thing that's cool too especially with like our gps devices that we have going on her bracelet she found that when the woman put it on it activated again because it was on you know her body temperature so it let them know okay she's over here you know because the little girl was by the bracelet but shout out to the actress that played that role i'm not sure if i shouted her out or not yet because I've, I've redid this video like four times because i don't like how it started out but she played a very good stalker creepy psycho like girl if you if you ever get into a lifetime movie i will definitely be watching okay because she she played that role for real so i try to think anything i don't like about the film i don't know maybe if it was maybe if it was longer i don't know i'm not used to movies being like an hour and some change but if you get what you need to say done in an hour then go ahead with it right now the ending again to be movies with these crazy ass endings she ended up kidnapping the girl's da daughter she ended up kidnapping the girl's dad right and had him hostage at the end, after he was free, his daughter was free, he gets a text message. Now, she didn't went, and went on to jail, so I don't even know how this happened. But she sent him a text message of ultrasounds. And I'm like, I know she did not rape this man while he was passed out and stole his damn swimmers. And now she, I'm like, ugh. It's, it ended like a horror film. You know how some horror films end where they've killed the villain or defeated the monsters or ghosts or whatever and then at the end you know somebody turns the corner and bam there's that last ghost and then the credits pop up that's how i felt like we don't want this crazy psycho to be pregnant especially not from no damn right i need y'all to work on these endings the movies are good but work on these endings because i was pissed i had a feeling something was going to be off at the end because when they arrested her there was still a movie going on you know they had the little girl and her brother because they're twins birthday party and i'm like i know it ain't just gonna end with no birthday party so what's what's the catch and that was the catch she's sending him ultrasounds but i'm going to pretend my interpretation though is going to be that she stole them offline and that she did not steal the man swimmers that's that's what i'm gonna say because uh uh-uh work on them endings to be all right whoo pretty short one short review for a short movie like i said you want something to just you kicking back kind of bored you want to knock out an hour or so i say watch it is i like it get some chips or something something to drink i'm i'm hungry that's why i'm talking about chips but anyway shout out to my subscribers man all 61 of you also shout out to the people that are watching this right now if you would please subscribe and throw me a like or two and don't be afraid to share all right as always peace and blessings to you all until next time